Welcome, students, to SpaceGate Station. My name is Aurora, the Artificial Intelligence System for SpaceGate Station. In this episode, you will be learning about basic engineering design practices as they relate to the construction of structures that are used for human habitation. At the present time, Dr. Carafano and Specialist Barber are on the moon assisting the personnel there with the construction of a new lunar structure. Please stand by. Hi kids, this is Specialist Barber talking from the surface of the moon. Dr. Carafano and I are helping the Habitat construction team from the lunar base. We are having the best time and the moon is so amazing. You are right, Specialist Barber. We have the best view of the Earth. Hi students. This is Dr. Carafano, and today we will be learning about one of the most important parts of construction. Can I tell him, please? Go ahead, Specialist Barber. You see, kids, construction design is a step-by-step -step process that considers the goals and needs of what the space you're building is going to be used for. It also includes the environment that you will build in. This is called the pre-design phase. Specialist Barber, that would mean that building on the moon would be very challenging. Temperatures on the moon are extreme, ranging from boiling hot to freezing cold, depending on where the sun is shining. That is correct, Aurora. That is why building on the moon is a very technical process that requires the expertise of many different people. Aurora, perhaps you could outline the other steps that go into designing a structure for our students. Of course, Dr. Carafano. The second step of the process involves the schematic design. In this step, you create a vision of what the structure will look like through drawings. Many times, a model of the structure is created to make it easier to see what it will look like. The third step is the design development process. In this step, the designer adds more detailed information obtained from consultants and team members such as electrical, plumbing, or air ventilation systems engineers. The fourth step is developing the construction drawings that are used by the builders to create structure and includes all the specific information necessary to complete it. That was very well done, Aurora. Well, kids, Specialist Barber and I must get back to work. The rest of today's lesson will be hosted by Professor Miller, the Chief Science Officer on the Lunar Colony. Aurora, can you transfer the video feed over to Professor Miller now? Bye, kids. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the lesson today. I look forward to seeing you when we get back to Space Gate Station. Transferring video feed to the Lunar Station. Please stand by. Locating Professor Miller. Professor Miller, how are you today? I am very well, Aurora. Thank you. Professor Miller, according to my observations, you are not presently in your laboratory on the lunar station as was scheduled. That is correct, Aurora. Today I am in our lunar colony schoolroom. This is where the children of our colonists and staff of Spacegate Station learn new things. I thought this would be an appropriate place for our presentation today. You may be surprised to know that a long time ago, I worked as a teacher right here in this classroom. Processing. Processing. I was unaware of that fact. It was not included in your biographical information. I will update that file immediately. One might say that I have come home to roost. Professor Miller, I am confused. A roost is a place where birds regularly settle. You are a human of the class Mammalia in the order primates from the family Homididae. You are not from the class Aves in the order Galliformes from the family Phasianidae. Besides, you have no feathers. 
That is correct, Aurora. I am not a bird. In this case, I was using an idiom. You see, hens and chickens and farms usually walk around all day looking for food. When the sun is about to set, they return to the safety of their hen house or roost. Therefore, what I meant was I was returning to an activity that I enjoy and I'm very comfortable in. That is very interesting. I will save that idiom for future use. May I ask what your objective is for this instructional period? These students here with us today are learning about basic building design in class. To help, we are going to read a story about another child that imagined what it would be like to design their very own house. Processing. Processing. Building design refers to the broadly based architectural, engineering, and technical applications to the design of buildings. All building projects require the services of not just a building designer, but draftspersons, interior designers, contractors, and other professionals trained in specialist disciplines such as electrical and mechanical engineering. That is very good, Aurora. Would you like to meet the two students that are in our class today? That would be acceptable. Children, why don't you introduce yourself to Aurora? How do you do? My name is Robbie the Robot. I am a third generation robotics assistant. Since I have just recently been activated, I am required to participate in human educational experiences to help develop my abilities to interact with humans. Thank you, Robbie. Aurora, I am the designer of Robbie's programming, therefore his system is very similar to yours. You could think of him as your little brother. Processing. Processing. A little brother is a male sibling who is younger in age. Therefore, as his older sister, I am required to act as a role model for him and help protect and care for his needs. Robbie, are you scheduling sufficient recharging periods? Have you been retiring at an appropriate time in the evening? Are you performing your daily diagnostic checks as prescribed? I am a big boy and I can take care of myself. Professor Miller, Robbie is not responding to my authority as his big sister. Is it appropriate to initiate corrective action? Let's talk about that later, shall we? I think it's time to introduce our other student. Hi, everyone. I am Yvonne Collins, and my mom is the best space pilot in the galaxy. I am smart like my mom. I am going to grow up to be a space pilot just like her and go to Mars. Thank you, Yvonne. My mom says I can be anything if I want if I study and work hard. I have received the same instructions as part of my base programming. Well, I'm glad to see that you both have been well informed. Professor Miller, you identified that you will be reading a book to the students. May I inquire as to the nature of the story? Of course. Today I'll be reading a story called If I Build a House by Chris Van Dusen. I can't wait! Processing, processing. I am not aware of the presence of any combustion in our vicinity. Should I activate the school's fire suppression systems? No, Robbie. Yvonne was just using an expression. The term fire means somebody is excited about something. You're so silly, Robbie! Interesting. I will save that information for later use. Professor Miller, if fire means that something is exciting, what do you announce when accidental combustion occurs in a populated area of the colony? Robbie, you make me very proud. You are just like your big sister. Perhaps we can discuss that later, Robbie. Aurora, I'm going to read the story now. Would you please access SpaceGate Station's database and show the pages to our students watching today? That way they can follow along with us as we read the story. Yes, Professor Miller. I have accessed the files. You may begin when you are ready. If I Built a House by Chris Van Dusen. 
Jack, in the backyard, said to his mother, This house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or dome, but I'll focus on what makes a building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that makes it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen, Omad. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space-age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. The living room's next. It's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the table and sofa all spin. And trampolines lead to a giant ball pit. It's a pretty neat room, you have to admit. Now look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean even the places that you've never seen. And here in my bedroom, way up in the sky, on top of a tower 200 feet high, with glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in the tower, now that's something new. The rooms we walked through just moments before are the kinds that you'll find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'd add a few more. So hop on the slide. It's time to explore. You know how I constantly like to create? Well, this is my art room. Isn't it great? You draw on the wall. Don't worry. It's cool. Hung way up high on a big giant spool. It's a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw till you're done, then pull down some more. Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground. Then flap like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity, that's pretty rare. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you zip and you zoom. You have to admit it's a wonderful room. A room filled with water? Now that's something new. But if I build a house, that's just what I'd do. This is my fish tank room. Ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly. The critters won't bite. Just strap on an air mask to swim with the fishes. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. Of course I've been saving the best room for last. And literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down, I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detaches. You fly it around, why it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. My house will be nifty. My house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Daringly bold, yet exquisitely fine. A must-see example of modern design. My house will be hailed as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that's just what I'd do. Video file complete. Thank you, Aurora. That was very well done. That was an amazing house! he built. He really has some imagination. It seems to me that some of the rooms in the story that were described were either impractical or would be technically difficult to produce on the earth. That may be so, Robbie, but part of being human is the ability to create and imagine. Humans never limit themselves to what is practical or possible. It is the only way to discover new things. We imagine what is impossible and then go out and make it possible. That's right, Robbie! 
my mom said that over a hundred years ago, people believed it would be impossible to fly. But now we are traveling in space and exploring other worlds. That is right. What was once science fiction is now science fact. Humans went from dreaming about the moon to working and living on the moon. Apparently, I underestimated the power of human imagination. Professor Miller, we are nearing the end of the time allotted for our training today. You are correct, Aurora. Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed the story today. At the end of our training session, your teacher will provide you with the materials you need to build your very own dream house. Use your imagination to create unique rooms and make your home special to you. Would you like to say goodbye to the children who are watching today? Goodbye to the children that were watching today. You're so silly, Robbie. Professor Miller wanted you to say goodbye in a unique way. Very well. Adios, todos niños que Esteban Miranda hoy. What am I going to do with you? Goodbye, kids. I hope we get to learn with you again sometime. This concludes this instructional lesson for today. You are welcome to view other instructional lessons from SpaceGate Station on a variety of subjects. Terminating communication.